Yo, what's going on everyone? Uh, most requested type of video I get through my Twitter and through YouTube comments is competitive gameplay. So that's what this is here today. Uh, a bit experimental as I don't have too much experience putting this kind of stuff up. So uh, basically what I'm gonna be doing is running through a search and destroy game in theater mode, pausing it, giving some information of why I made decisions I did or uh, stuff I didn't do. So yeah, here it is. Um, first round on defense on gridlock, I always go A. Um, there's a lot of teams that will just send five showers and it's just, once you know they're a team that sends five showers, like first round, if it works for them, they're gonna do it again. Sometimes even if it doesn't work for them, they do it again and you just know like what kind of people you're playing. So I always try and go there and get some information. So um, I'm playing with my buddy, Ethan. He ran to B bomb site or mid here. I forget, it doesn't show the dark blue arrow on the map. Um, so I'm by myself here and I'm in party chat. So I can't communicate with these people. I'm a little uncom uncomfortable. Right here, I see that there's four dots on their map in showers. So I uh, pre-fired that right lane a little bit, just trying to hold them out of that while I sneak up. Teammate goes down, um, dip to the left so he can check the lane, see I'm not there and feel safe. I pop back out. Slimy Slays goes down. Thinking they're gonna look for me on the right. So I dip to the other side, just basic switch. Pretty much everyone does that. Change positions after your gunfight, especially if you don't have a silencer. And with Fog of War in this game, um, yeah, people know where you are all the time. So switch to the other side. Kinda just wanna get one more. It's a little bit of a hopeless scenario here with how many of them there are in showers. Get one more, I get two kills in showers. Uh, I did my job. Still the first round here, bomb goes down B. I don't know why you can see that guy in the mini map in theater, you can't actually see him here. Uh, teammate runs through the back to get to B. Probably the best move, rather than going through ice cream because you can be seen from either angle. Um, but right here, he climbs the ladder. There's no ladders in this game you should climb ever. You don't need to. You look up and jump and you can mantle. Uh, your gun goes away when you climb the ladder. If you're mantling, your gun's out the whole time and you can fight people. Never climb ladders. Um, guy ends up being right there, so don't climb the ladders. Round two, um, I try and grab the bomb. I always try and grab the bomb. Uh, I just feel more comfortable with it. I like uh, yelling out orders when I'm trying to plant, so. Uh, didn't get it there. Go A again because uh, they flooded showers last time, but notice one guy drops middle. Oh, Ethan gets dumped on middle. And uh, there's two there, so I try and pick it up with this guy who's uh, on the overpass. Um, dip out from a gunfight mid, get shot a little bit here. Teammate drops in front of Dojo there, so uh, best thing I can do here is back up. So that's exactly what I do. Uh, teammate with bomb actually makes a real good play here as I'm backing up. Every time you back up from a gunfight, people are most likely gonna chase you. So just back up here and try and get a pick. Um, teammate catches him in some crossfire. I sneak back in and get one easy kill. So good play from the, the random teammate there. Here I'm just sliding across, trying to bait a little bit for the teammate. He ends up getting a guy, uh, 3v1. So I think we end up closing this one out. It's a little hairy with this guy here. A pretty cornery gunfight with him. Teammate ends up getting him. Round three, uh, went showers, offense and defense. Decide to switch it up here. I go mid, pop up here, check if they have a guy on overpass. You can see him right there. Uh, I try and hit him with a stun here. I don't know where this thing lands, because look, it blows up. You can see it blow up up top there. I get no hit marker from it. So, I don't know how that missed. I thought it was a pretty good throw. Um, I call out the guy up top. Ethan's on B flank, so I decide, let me just jiggle peek this guy. Um, so you can sneak up behind him, get a free kill. I'm pretty surprised those shots hit there, actually. So, I think that's exactly what happened. Yeah, there it is in the kill feed. That was a real quick round. Next round, back on offense. I do end up getting the bomb. Right here in the text chat, I say moving on Bravo three times in a row. As you can see, great teammates. No one comes with me. So, going to be by myself. Um, see two guys pop up there in the mid, and then Ethan's over at A. So, I have some call outs that there's guys on A. I see two guys mid. Um, so, I kind of assume there's no one here. I do still check that outer lane to the right of the truck and the window. 
you're getting call outs there's guys mid and a and there's no one in either of those spots uh, uh here i assumed i was pretty safe so i go and lay the bomb down teammates are getting slaughtered and uh end up in a nice 4v1 right here um so whenever I have bombed down on this site, I like to go to the one of the two windows, either the one overlooking it or the one overlooking mid. Just a good place to gain information. And uh, you really only have one flank, and that's if they go through the, the dom point outside of the shower area on this side here. But not a lot of people hit that flank. It takes a long time to run all the way around that. So um, right here, I see this guy's head pop up just above the car there. So I see him uh, getting into a position to try and win the gunfight, and I decide, let me just dip out. That's a long range to fight with the Maddox. Um, I want to kill guys quick in a 4v1. I don't want my red dot lingering on the map and for them having a chance to move in. So I hide here for a second and uh, kind of wait for him to get closer before I take the gunfight. Pop up. He didn't end up seeing me. This guy gets smoked. His buddy hops through the window. One shot shot punch, guy gets smoked even harder, then it's a 2v1. So here, um, I get two kills in a 4v1, and uh, usually like if you're on the team that has the man advantage, and you see two of your guys go down, you start to be like, all right, maybe this guy's pretty good. Um, I should take a flank, hit this guy in the back. He just won two gunfights. So, first I check the bomb, um, and I see a guy cross there. So I assume he's hitting that outside alley flank. So that's uh, exactly what he ends up doing. Free kill. I could have very easily lost that gunfight. Um, I took it kind of lazy, but whatever, I'll take it. Checking bomb again. And then I think I end up just going through ice cream and uh, find this guy defusing and uh meleeed him just for the style points and here you gotta do what you gotta do so next round defense hadn't gone b yet ethan ran up b i think two previous rounds and like no one was there so just was pretty safe to assume we could just push up all the way uh guys top overpass killed our guy mid so go check there free kill here um i absolutely like this guy's body up uh, <laughs> when you kill someone from behind and you shoot their body it's like not really what you're supposed to do you're not supposed to shoot bodies at all but um technically when you shoot someone's body it's supposed to be like when you turn on them or you win in a gunfight you weren't supposed to so when you shoot somebody's body who had no means of killing you i feel like it kind of rattles them a little bit and they're like what's this guy doing like he didn't dump on me snuck up behind me and hit me once so like it, I feel like when people do that to me, it really flusters me, so I do it back to people. Um, clutch the last round. Wasn't feeling so confident about this one. I pull out streaks here, see that they're both in on A. Uh, whiff with the lightning strike, and then I freaking dead slide right here. So that's why I crouch and stare at the corner, and then this guy shoots me in the back. Real surprised they didn't light up my body, um, but whatever. Next round, uh, I thought I grabbed bomb there. I didn't. Um, the whole time I thought I had it. So I'm running up B, check window again, no one's there. So I lay down, I laid kind of far from it. There's a good spot you can stretch the bomb to and you can see from back near uh, the dojo, or sushi, sorry. So I just start inching closer. I'm like, why can't I plant, why can't I plant? Turns out I didn't have the bomb. Great timing on this guy. It's the same guy I killed from behind last round and lit up his body. So what I do this time, same exact thing. Um, at this point, I think he's their lead player. Yeah, so that's why I was doing it. <laughs> really no excuse, but uh, yeah, whatever. Next round, uh, run up mid with E. Check, see if the guy's up top. He's up there. So I say, hey, let's do that play. Uh, we'll switch roles. So you jiggle him on mid. Um, Ethan takes a gunfight that he has no business winning with the SOG and takes that guy off the overpass heady. So mad props for that. I think I just run through and no one else shows up the rest of the round. Yeah, I don't do anything. 
And yeah, sadly, the round after that, I don't think I did anything either. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if breaking down some of my thought processes helps you guys out um, in your gameplay. And regularly, it's good to just go through your stuff and see how you take gunfights and stuff and try and figure out why you did certain things or if you should have done stuff better. It's just always good to analyze your own gameplay and really anything in life, kind of evaluate yourself. Sports, watch film, um, it's a video game, but it's a competitive mode and people obviously play it, they wanna get better. So if you wanna get better, just watch yourself play every now and then. Uh, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, it's probably gonna be pretty short, just with all the chopped up parts of me actually talking. But uh, if I helped you out at all, leave a like, comment, let me know. Uh, hit me up on Twitter, links down below. And see you.